Alright, this is uh, my first uh, SIG review and I'm going to be doing Palm Art Super Kings Reds. Basically, uh, to be Virginian uh, tobacco. Get them pretty much anywhere in uh, the UK and like, uh, like a nice cheap cigarette. You get 19 in a pack, which is a bit crap, but they're not as expensive as, say, like Richmond, Windsor Blue, your Marlboro. Best and edges on and what so it's a lot better because I find with my college salary that I can't afford some stuff sometimes if I want to lack a lot of smokes so I'll, I'll get palm oil because they last me a lot longer and uh, that's the best thing about it because they're super kings so uh, I'll spark up now as you can see decent smoke should be palm oil there on size Backed up your standard Super King measurements in the UK. The Wafara Parbo is they have a distinctive flavour, but it's quite weak. But I suppose that's because it's a Super King at the bottom. So if you can take it back, it'll be obviously a lot stronger. But it taste isn't like amazing compared to Marlboro or anything like that. But for the price, like I, I, I bought this from the court for like £5.57. Usually, I get them at like women's train station shops and all that stuff, and they're about £5.32. Pound, uh, five pound One P less for, for non, for king size. Don't, it's a thing that's happening in the UK at the minute, that. It's like you can get sterling uh, king size for 2 99 tens, and then you can get them super kings for like 1p more. I just don't see, you would just pay the 1p for the super king, it's fucking stupid. Pretty fit, quite like them. They're quite smooth. Not like not got an amazing taste. There's no distinctive flavour to anything. Pretty, you can tell they're cheap, but for what you pay, they're a decent smoke. You know what I mean? Now, see what the uh, box says. Just a uh, British American Tobacco Group. That's who own them. And uh, it's the pack with the usual warnings on and everything. Palmer 19 uh, Class A cigarettes, and obviously that's the top top dog's bollocks and that. And uh, the information is 10 milligrams of tar, 0.9 milligrams of nicotine, 10 milligrams of carbon monoxide. That's about right for uh, a super king. But actually, Marlborough Bright Leafs, they have 0.9 uh, milligrams, and everyone thinks Marlborough Reds are like the strongest one. They're not. It's Bright Leaf. Bright Leaf are stronger than, stronger than Reds. The burn on these is absolutely cracking, but that's because that's it's full of chemicals. So. Anyway, yeah, I go to college, so that's where I get get me money from uh, the Audi EMA lot and everything. At buy cigs, started in college really when I about like year seven I properly like had a fag every again through high school and everything. And I proper started smoking in college, social smoking. I found the people outside were a lot nicer to speak to and get to know and everything. It's fucking freezing at the minute. It's like one degree, so practically is freezing. In the good old. Uh, Country of England, in the northwest. We're actually due snow today, so if that actually materialises, that'll be fun. Go figure a bit smooth because uh, super, super, ki super kings they last a bit longer, and that's why I primarily get them. Primarily, they get them because they're going to last longer. Really smooth. It's unbelievably smooth. I'm also going to be uh, doing more cigarette reviews. Like I want to do Marlboro Red reviews. I'm going to do roll ups as well because that's why like I get a pack of fags usually for the weekend and everything. Maybe another tens or another pack of Palmars for the like the uh, beginning of the co college working week. And then I'm on roll ups then until I get paid again. That's usually uh, unbelief. I've been smoking loads of unbelief lately, so I'll do roll ups on them. Everybody loves unbelief. It's a big winner. But my main one is Golden Virginia. That is classic. Everyone likes it even though people say it smells like old men but it's what my granddad smokes so it's what everybody smokes basically roll ups everyone smokes roll ups at call usually unless they have mummy and daddy to pay for proper bags i really enjoy parma for the price it's absolutely brilliant so your good points about this cheap 
a lot more affordable than the high end brands like MC Regal, Marlboro, Benson Edges, Silk Coat, all them. Uh, they last you a bit longer than a 20 deck. I know there's one less 19 foot knows why, but it's usually probably because of the box shape. Uh, a lot better. And um, the bad points is they're not, they don't make you go, fuck me, these are fucking mint. You know what I mean? They don't do that. They just fucking. It is, it's, it's a cheap and cheerful cigarette, basically. For when you're out and about and everything. Because I hate rolling. Rolling in the weather, don't do it. I'll sit down at a fucking table and roll. Can't stand it. Pisses me off. And then when it's windy, as it always is in England, it's fucking awful to smoke in the wind. I hate it. It's just not right. So I prefer having a normal proper cig in the rain. Uh, what I'd rate this is about 7 out of 10. My favourite's Marlborough. I used to be a gold smoker actually. My mate got me on golds. I used to smoke gold but then I thought it'd be brutal so I started with rollies. Uh, and then I went on to reds. And actually, shops right around my area. It is mainly Marlborough gold. 10s, 20s and you always get Marlborough reds in fucking 20s and it's like, I can't afford them. I'm a fucking skin cunt, you know what I mean? So. It's like shops in, a lot of shops in Wigan do tens, so that's useful. So if there's no ten Marlboro Reds, I usually go for Silk Cut. I've been on Silk Cut lately, they're really smooth. Fucking, I'll do reviews on them as well. And, um, and Marlboro, if there's no Marlboro Reds, like tens, I usually get Regal or Embassy. Because Regal and Embassy are basically the same fucking pack, but Regal is so smooth. They actually just taste like Marlboro to me. Anyway, as you can see, I'm freezing my tits off my hands like red. I'd chat in that much shit, my fucking fag's nearly going out, and that shouldn't happen. So, yeah. 7 out of 10 for this butte. Cheap and cheerful. It's a good all rounder. Nice and smooth. Won't make you feel like crap. I usually feel good after a good palm oil. Super Kings last longer, cracking. Bad point is, it just tastes a bit shit. But there's not as much chemical aftertaste as your iron browns, I find. I'm going to do Bench and Edge's Silver as well, I really want to do some Silvers. Reaver Engine Reviews made me do them, so shout out to Reaver Engine Reviews. You guys have made me start doing my own reviews. Fucking love you. Thanks for watching.